numbers later in the evening as well. Uh, BPCL is down almost about half odd percent and in fact this month if you look at it a lot of the NBFC names have been gaining ground so something like a Bajaj Finance has been uh, a big mover lately that one is also in the green again this morning. That's the first take on the index uh, the Sensex and the Nifty up about three tenths of a percent the Bank Nifty up about two tenths of a percent and the advanced decline ratio well in the green so good opening tick for the market no complaints at all. Uh, Adani Enterprises has is making a bit of a comeback. So 1740 now on Adani Enterprises. That's a gain of 2%, and that's the big mover on the index. Adani Ports as well. So some recovery coming through there. Then you have the IT stocks, Infosys, HCL Tech, TCS, Wipro, Tech Mahindra, all in the green. So that pocket is looking decent. UPL is up about one odd percent, and something like an MM, which has been gaining ground since its numbers, is up in the green as well. Uh, talking about M&M, the other auto stocks to Maruti, Tata Motors, all in the green right now, Bajaj Auto as well, uh, trending a bit higher. So what's not looking good then? Apollo Hospitals comes out with earnings later today. Ahead of that, the stock is down about half a percent. You have Sun Pharma, there's Titan, uh, there's, well, no Valentine's Day cheer there, looks like, at least for now. Asian Pain, Sun Pharma, Cipla, BPCL, couple of other stocks that are trending in the red right now. But otherwise, it's a, uh, quite a decent opening, you'd have to say. The Nifty is holding with gains of 67 points. Important to see if this uh, holds because um, the market is very volatile, as you know. Nika is your big loser, down almost about 4 odd percent post its numbers, and then plenty of other stocks in the broader market. But otherwise, it's a decent opening. Well, that's right. Uh, Sonia, let's uh, highlight a few stocks though that are moving around uh, today. Ratna Money Metals, uh, well, that had opened up in the green. Uh, volume's not very, very high out there. Sale, though, the numbers operationally were good. The problem was uh, in terms of, uh, you know, the debt moving up. So that's why the stock is more or less flattish. Uh, you know, more clarity is awaited on that front. Bahista earlier today told us that Zen attainments numbers were lower than expected. So that one, in fact, has opened up with a cut of closure around a percent or thereabouts. Let's see how other stocks are reacting. Campus active where? Well, the revenue growth was only around 7.5%. Or the EBITDA as well was low and higher uh, raw material costs. So that's opened up with the cut of front 2.5%. Remember, it's seen a very, very good run of late. A couple of other notable uh, movers is uh, Linde India reacting to its uh, numbers out there. So Linde, I think... Um, was expected to open up in the green. There was some margin expansion as well, up close around 1.5%. On the flip side, cash roll will get the management in just a bit. The numbers are disappointing. GSPL as well, the numbers are a little bit uh, subpar. So that one as well, I think, has opened up more or less flattish. A couple of names, though, that are doing well. Oil India is seeing some follow through buying, so good on that one. And InfoEdge, after the 9% cut that we saw yesterday, well, that's again down close to around 2% as we speak. Management sounding rather subdued in terms of uh, billing growth from year on, which later on will percolate into recruitment revenues as well. So it explains why the stock is down 2% on, Prashant. Right. Uh, I mean, it's uh, 40 points now on the Nifty. So we're at, what, 45 actually. 17,816 is where the index finds itself at.